Alrighty kids, greetings. This is Mr. H here, giving you a little tutorial on how layer masks work. So we're gonna make a document, go to File, New, and choose Custom Size, and make it 1,000 pixels by 1,000 pixels. Um, a resolution of 300 is fine. That really has to do with how it would print. Then make the background contents scroll down to transparent. So 1000 by 1000, 300 pixels per inch, RGB color and transparent. You don't have to bother with the advanced options. Click on create. And here you go. You have a nice transparent background ready to be filled with luxuriant, beautiful lettering and layer mask work. Okay, first things first, let's make some text. So click on the text tool down here. The shortcut for that is the letter T. Click anywhere on the document and choose the font of Ariel, or I'm sorry, let's do Cooper Black. It'll be regular. And right now the size is 72 point. We'll start with that. And the anti-aliasing is sharp, and let's make the color a purple. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as mine. Just drag the color picker uh, and choose a nice purpley purple. Click OK. And actually type the letters AC1. All right, so we have a nice piece of text. Let's put it in the middle. And let's resize it a little bit. So hold down Shift and then click and drag on the corners. If you don't have the transform handles already there, just a quick review, hitting command or control, well, for you, sorry, command T. I'm on a PC right now. Holding down shift and dragging one of the corners out from the center, out and away from the center, there we go. We'll resize it proportionately. Whoa. Okay. To finish that, hit return, and there you go. We have AC1 in all its glory. Right now, with this later layer highlighted, hit Command J to make a copy, and then one more time to make another copy. So now we have, if you look at your layers menu here, we have three copies the original and two new ones. Now we're going to rename these layers. The bottom one, we're going to call bottom. You'll see why in a second. The second one's gonna be called middle. I hope you see a pattern here. And the next one's gonna be called top. All right. So now we have three layers. They all look the same. So if I hide or hid any one of them, we would still end up with something that looked like this. But what we're gonna do now is go to the middle layer, okay? Go to our color picker. Now, if you don't see that up here or you don't have the properties window like I do, go to the text tool. And with this layer highlighted, go to the color picker up there and change the color. So that's our middle layer. And then our top layer, choose that, unhide it, and go to the top layer and change the color. I'm going to make it a nice bright yellow. Be sunshiny and happy. Sunshiny. Okay, so we have three layers. The top is yellow, the middle is green, and the bottom is purple. Now, what we're gonna do is reveal parts of each of these layers using a layer mask. So, the bottom layer, we don't have to do anything to. So we're just gonna leave it the way it is. The middle layer, I'm going to unhide, and I'm gonna apply a layer mask. Now, if you look here, a layer mask is this tool that looks like the Japanese flag, if you know what that looks like. Now, we have a layer mask. Make sure that that's highlighted that you don't have the text of the text layer highlighted. You have the layer mask highlighted. Then we hit the letter B to activate the brush tool, or you can simply go here and make sure the top brush tool is selected of the brush tools that are available at that part of your toolbar. And I found that a size of 150 was good for, oh no, actually 150 is a little big. Let's go to 100 approximately, if not exactly. And I made the hardness soft in this case so that the colors blend from one layer to the next. So now that that's done, what I'm going to do is erase the bottom part 
of this these green letters so that the purple underneath on the bottom layer will show through. So basically, oh, the other thing is to make sure that your the color of your brush is black. Black is black. In other words, a hex value of six zeros. Do not play around with any other color because then you're not going to get uh, it to work the right way. And now what I'm going to do is I'm drawing black over here. If you see this, there's black showing up over here. Anywhere there's black, it removes whatever is on that layer. So, and I'm just kind of going in a nice little wavy shape here. Kind of like, I'm trying to make the effect of like those ice cream pops that uh, have multiple flavors. Always fun to have. Not this time of year, but. When it's warm out, there's nothing better. Okay, Bobby, hey. Okay, so now we're gonna go and go to the top layer and we're gonna make another layer mask. Beep. And with that highlighted and the brush tool still active and it's color black, we're going to re-erase re even more of the bottom of it. So we're gonna erase as much as we did with the middle layer and more. So now we're gonna, so here, watch. Wiggly, 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 piggy. So now what we've got is three layers. I'm gonna erase a little bit more. So there you go. And I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna do a little bit of the top of the scene. So there you go, Bob's your uncle. What we've done in a non-destructive way, in other words, we've actually not deleted any of these letters that we created. We've just revealed parts and hidden parts using the layer mask. So to prove that point, if you go to this layer here and click on the layer mask, right click on it and choose disable layer mask, you'll see all of that yellow is still there. It's just that the part that we drew on the layer mask is being hidden. I'm gonna re-enable the layer mask there. So that's basically how layer masks work. Now your job is to do exactly the same kind of thing with different colors and different letters. And I encourage you to make something that you would like to print out and put on your door or put on your refrigerator or your dog. Okay, kids, that's it. See you later. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and uh, I'll see you in the classroom. Bye-bye.